AQS Sandpiper Water Pump. Managing water in underground workplaces is important not only to prevent mud rushes and flooding, thereby creating a safer work environment, but also to improve production. The AQS range of pumps provides a proven solution for effectively managing water underground. At AQS, we value the safety of all workers and therefore urge you to have the correct PPE available when operating the AQS range of pumps. Let us take a closer look at an AQS diaphragm pump. The suction intake is here, at the bottom of the pump. The discharge outlet is here, at the top of the pump. This is the air valve, the motor of a diaphragm pump. To ensure that the pump can operate effectively, you should make sure of the following. The diameter of the discharge pipework must be equal to or larger than the discharge outlet diameter of the pump. The discharge pipework must start at the pump connection, end no more than 4 to 5 meters from the working face at the advanced strike gully and continue from there along the center gully down the traveling way and the crosscut to the discharge point on the corner of the crosscut and the haulage. Both the discharge and compressed air pipework must be free from leaks, obstructions and blockages. There are two ways to position an AQS diaphragm pump for maximum efficiency. When using the pump with a suction strainer but no suction hose, it is best to position the pump directly into the advanced strike gully or at a point close to the face with the largest accumulation of water. When using the pump with a suction strainer and a suction hose, it is advisable to position the pump on the ledge and to secure it to the closest jackpot support to the advanced strike gully. Place the suction hose and strainer into the advanced strike gully or at a point close to the face with the largest accumulation of water. Once the pipework has been inspected and the pump correctly positioned, you can proceed with connecting the pump to the discharge and compressed air pipework. For your benefit, all AQS diaphragm pumps come with all the fittings needed to connect the pump as standard. Connect the discharge pipework to the discharge outlet of the pump, ensuring no leakage. Before connecting the compressed air pipework, ensure that the pipework is free from particles that could damage the air valve by opening the pipework manifold and letting the air flow freely for 20 seconds. Now connect the pump by placing the compressed air pipework end over the swage nipple on the air valve and securing it with a clamp. Open the compressed air pipework manifold slowly until the pump is stroking at a steady pace. Clean the pump after use by pumping clean water through the pump for a few strokes. Store the pump in a safe place before blasting. Lo faifum te tu kalo pompe e ana fanaka so. Number one, size a lo small. Number two, aikona fagalo mafuta. Number three, aikona chaya lo pompi. Number four, sechalon tambu kalo donsa manji. Na lo sef kaena. Sechalon tambu kalo kipa manji. Number five, washalo ma pompi. <laughs>